I'm going to say it now. This is probably the best haul I've had from charity shops, period. Welcome back to Planet Passy. You join me on another charity shop adventure. This time we're going to do the Dartmoor Loop, starting off here in Buckfastley. So here we have a nice plain white Ralph Lauren, just normal Ralph Lauren tag as well, not even polo. Plain white shirt. Now, never had a plain white one before. Haven't got the best success rate with Ralph Lauren, but I don't know. This just struck a chord with me, so uh, I'm going to give it a go. £3.50 cannot go wrong. So you could always be looking out for cashmere items. There we go. It says it on the tag. Nice. Zara cashmere jumper, size XL? I don't think so. Oh boy, that's been washed on too hot a setting. It's shrunk. That's ridiculous. So just bear that in mind when you're looking at cashmere goods. They can shrink. Okay, so this is where it gets interesting. This caught my eye. It's sort of satin-esque shirt. Had a closer look. Four pounds. But it's by a brand called Paramo. Now, Paramo is a sort of underrated, under the radar, I guess, outdoor brand. Really, really good quality though. Really good fan base. Desirable. And... Uh, yeah, really good selfie rate. So this is a parameter. It's a reversible shirt, so one side is fleece lined, the other side is more sort of polyester-like. But look, there's a dark green one. There's this olive green one. Same size, size XL. Then there was this sort of light, kind of desert uh, sand colour walking shirt. Again, Paramo, size XL. Then I found another parameter reversible shirt, this time in a nice navy blue colour. Again, size XL. There we go, reversible. And then another lighter blue walking shirt. That's five items. Crazy. Now, keep an eye out for medical stuff. This is an Orleman ankle brace, size medium. Paid £1.50 for this. It's already sold for £25 plus postage so yeah never discount medical stuff back in the jumble sale now there's no signal in here so just got to go by instinct what i've learned what sells what doesn't just go for it although it's pretty cheap so you can't go too far wrong but all right for the first find a pair of chunky super girls these are the CO2 29. Oh, a bit of. Oh no, look. That one was okay. This one. This one's got some damage. I don't know if. Is that going to be a deal breaker? Is that going to be a deal breaker? They're not. Oh, they're good condition apart from that. I told myself, mustn't buy damaged goods but the laces are good glitch are just that I think I can patch up them so I'm going to take them they're a good size six and a half these chunky ones do better than the um, flat soles but it's just that bit there the lighting in here is terrible I'm, I'm going to go for it it's fine right I haven't heard of this brand before Anatom Anatom walking shoes, UK size 42, is that a 9? Um, they're not Vibram, they're not Gore-Tex, so uh, any bit of a clean, but you know, this is a shot where you should pay to learn, so the laces are okay, so I might give them a go, worst comes to worst I'll get my money back so I'm gonna give them a go. Now found some walrus but here's the thing with walrus it's not 100% cotton it's, a lot of walrus stuff just doesn't sell very well if it's just sort of plain and not particularly exciting it just doesn't do that well. Same thing with Peter Storm such an underrated brand this is like a utility gilet but they just they just don't sell. There's just like no demand for Peter Storm, so even if it's what? 
three quid. We might struggle to get 15 for that, so unfortunately, it's going back. Now, I'm not going to get this, but um, <laughs> when YouTube asks, is this video made for kids? Um, no, it isn't. No, it isn't. I've got some Rohan. This is vintage. Um, no idea how well that's going to do, to be honest. No idea. Can't even find the label. So... Yeah, what's in there? Alright, here's a weird one. This is an East um, padded jacket. It's still got the padding. It looks really flimsy, right? But, flip it over. Yeah, polyester outside, but look. Downfilled. Downfilled. How bizarre. Wow, so. <laughs> Two charity shops, and I got all that. <laughs> wow, I'm not. I could go home now, to be honest. That's uh, that's incredible. But it's only the first stop, so three more to go. So I'm currently in, Ash in Fast Lee, going to Tavistock. Uh, not Tavistock. We are we are going to Tavistock, Princetown, which is like a really remote village on top of Dartmoor. Has one charity shop, a community hub. Then we're going to Tavistock, which is the other side of Dartmoor. Then we're going to Oakhampton. So we're doing like a Dartmoor. Not more day trips. So this is Princeton. Middle of Dartmoor. Pretty remote. But by some bizarre reason, there is a charity shop here. I think it's open, so uh, let's go in. Oh, look at these. Vintage. Vintage Adidas. Oh, that I didn't know I expect. I think they're are they football or rugby? I don't know. But, um, I think a bit of a polish, that's okay. They are a UK size, size 12. Crikey. Well, we're definitely having them. Wow, okay, that's a great start. Great start. Got a pair of sketches here, shape ups. UK size 4. I don't normally get small shoes. Ooh, is it? Oh no, I won't. Oh no, look. It's got a mouth. That's a shame. Okay, so these are some Freddy's of Pinewood jeans. No ladies. Size 30 reg. Made in England. Nice sort of baggy fit. I'm looking at comps. Really not bad at all. So we'll be having those as well. So we've got a Gant University Poplin shirt. Gant shirts are a bit. <sighs> yeah, they can be a bit sticky. It's a bit of wear to the collar as well. I think if there was a, what size is it? It's XL. It's a nice, it's a nice tartan though, isn't it? It's a nice tartan colour, button-down collar. Um, all the buttons on there. Oh, again, it's cheap. <laughs> I can accept the bell price for it. It's cheap. Yeah, let's give it a go. Look at this. South Park. But it's from. 1998. So, if I go, we've got another another bag full. Guy wanted 12 quid. It's one of these sort of shops where it's like, name your price. The guy said, have it for 12 quid. And I said, take 15, keep the change because that's a leather jacket. Get 15 back on that as it is, and then, goodness me, so much more in there. So, amazing. Ooh, what is that? It's an S3. All right, and this is Tavistock, the jewel of Dartmoor. 
Oh, that number plate. O O E one. Cool. Um. Yeah. Have a stock. Last time I came here, I found nothing. Nothing at all. So, hopefully, with a little uh, renewed knowledge, um, my luck will improve. But we uh, we shall see. An idea of pricing. Just gazelles. Ten quid. Right. I don't know, it didn't look Scarpa, that's a brilliant brand. Oh, Jesus Christ, look at that. I mean, they are new, but... <laughs> yeah, that's basically eBay. So. We're in Oxfam, and I found Leeds Rhinos. Four quid. Nice. No idea what year, what year it's from, but... uh. Yeah, four quid. Well worth it. Rugby league team. Nice. Tough for throwback. Just do it. School days. Little tab. But. But. It's just a bag, man. Oh, this could have been good. Nitro Caborn. Utility. Archic Bourne, great designer brand, but I'm sure Chaddy Pete did this. It is a Debenham Braun. So, God, always check, don't get carried away. Good brand on its own, <laughs> not with Debenhams. Alright, now we're talking. Rafa for a fiver. Nice. Let's have a look. Mainly wool. Merino zip. That'll do. That'll do. Got another one. Some uh, luxury picker stuff here. There's some mulberry. Trousers. Um, but I remember them saying the men's stuff doesn't sell that well. That's eight quid. Um, lovely condition. I'm going to say it now. This is probably the best haul I've had from charity shops, period. Up to this point, anyway, it's been absolutely fantastic. Um, weirdly, it got progressively worse as the day went on. Well, not worse. It got pro progressively less fruitful as the day went on. So, I'm going to go in reverse order. So, the best or last, because that's the juicy bit. That's the really juicy bit. The first charity shop I hit was by far the best one. But I'll get to that in a bit. Keep you watching. So, the last town I went to was Oakhampton. Um, never had a huge amount of luck in Oakhampton. Only bought two things. Both women's. So if I hadn't checked the women's sections, I wouldn't have bought anything at all. So, last thing I bought, pretty basic. Nice mountain hardware, quarter zip fleece. Nice sort of lilac colour. Size small. Doesn't actually have any embroidery to the um, to the, the breast. It's got a little... Where's it gone? It's got a little embroidered hit down the bottom. And another one on the collar. Paid £3 for that one, probably not expecting more than sort of 15 to 17 It's a good brand, but it is a pretty basic fleece. This is a bit better. This was £4, and this is a brand you need to be looking out for. This is called Ariat. It's a sort of premium equestrian brand. Now, the bigger sizes do do better. This is only a size small. Tell the light, it's an extra small. Say so, £4. Around about 20 I reckon for that one. So if you can get ones that are downfilled, because it's polyester, larger sizes can do loads better. So yeah, be on the lookout for Ariat. Next town is Tavistock, to the west of Dartmoor. Last time I went to Tavistock, I got nothing at all. So this is a vast improvement. And actually, the last shop saved the day. So let's get into it. First of all, this is unbranded, it is vintage, it's just this cute puppy sweatshirt. 
Um, mixed, it even says mixed fabrics on the tag. It is. It's probably like a cotton acrylic with more acrylic. But just the design. It's cute, isn't it? No idea on the size. Doesn't say. But probably a ladies one. What we say? Maybe it's a size 16? Something like that. Only £2.50. So, a bit of bobbling. You can get that off. I don't know. I might push 20 quid on that one. That could be a bit cheeky, but... I reckon 17 to 20. It's unique, isn't it? That's the thing. It's unique. So we'll give that a go. See what happens. Same shop. This probably hasn't got much value to it. I just couldn't leave it behind. It's from Santa Pod Raceway. Santa Pod Raceway is the UK's premier drag strip. It's a quarter mile drag, you know, dragsters, top fuel funny cars, that sort of thing. Um, this is a bit of memorabilia from Santa Pod. It's a ladies long sleeve, kind of like a varsity t-shirt style. 100% cotton, size large, so again, I'd probably say, what, 16 to 18, something like that. Lovely textured graphic print to it. Again, £2.50, 15 quid all in, something like that. Here's a brand I've never bought before, uh, normally because it's just rubbish. But this is a bit different. So this is a vintage Eastex, and you'll see it. If you, if you try the shop, you'll see this brand everywhere. Made in England, it's a size 12 but it's the materials and the design that carries this through. So this is a wool and mohair blend jacket. 88% wool, 11% mohair, and 1% nylon on the outside. Size 12, lovely design, paid three pounds for that one. 20 quid, something like that. Sell the rate doesn't seem too bad. So again, gonna give it a go, see how well it does. Right, now on to the choicy stuff. An Oxfam, would you believe it? I have, I did not have much luck with Oxfam. There isn't one in my local town. The nearest one is down the road in Totnes, and it is terrible for pricing and just stock rotation. But anyway, but Tavistock had some stuff. I did look through all the rails. I went through all the women's clothing. There wasn't really anything worth buying, but there was this in the men's section. So this is Leeds Rhinos, the rugby league team. Um, pretty good team actually, to be fair, has to be said. This is, I believe, the 2011-2012 Away Kit. I might be wrong, I believe it's Away Kit. Again, lovely embroidery. This is a size XL, nice big size, by ISC. And that, by some miracle, was only 3 99 Should be a good 25 quid on that one. Nice, nice to get some sportswear. Children's Hospice Southwest, not a brand of charity shops that I go into that much, or at least buy anything from. Again, went through all the women's rails, all the men's rails. These were the only two things worth buying, but they were worth buying. Because they are by a company called Rafa. Rafa is worth looking out for. Rafa, this is the, no it's not, I lie, I bought a hat. These are the first two Rafa clothing garments I've bought. Five pounds each. They are 100% merino wool. Both big sizes. Size double XL. That's a patch on the side. A patch, different colour. Stripe. Full zip. So quite an unusual thing, really. Nice zip toggle. Five pounds into. I'm going to push 60 on this. I know it sounds crazy, but it's such a good brand. These the retail on this is. Yeah, high, and these are in fantastic condition. Both that one and this more aqua coloured one. Again, both size double XO, both full zip, both in lovely condition. The demand for Rafa, the quality, it's 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 good. It's yeah, I was buzzing, absolutely buzzing by those. Yes, yes, Tavistock. So, but I'd already bought all this, so that was just merely the icing on the cake. So this next bag, I got everything for 15 quid. It's one of these rare charity shops where it's like, name your price. I took the stuff to the till, I said to the guy how much he wanted for it. He said 12 pounds. I felt bad, I gave him 15 and I left. So, again, a few experiments in here, but a few things are actually quite good. So remember 15 quid for all this. So first up, just a standard Gantt long sleeve shirt. This is the University Poplin Sport Fit. Lovely sort of tartan design, nice big size, size XL. Um, yeah, Gantt shirts don't sell particularly well for me, but it was basically a quid. 
so I wasn't going to leave it behind. Um, I'll probably push 15 on that one, see how well it does. Similar story, not a huge amount of value to it, but again, it was like pence, well, a pound. Nice Reading Football Club um, polo shirt. Not a training top, literally just a fan polo shirt, but lovely embroidered logo. Nice Puma logo there, and to the rear. It is a size large, probably a tenner plus postage maybe. A couple of pulls actually, so maybe a tenner all in. Again, worth experimenting with. Stop the clocks. Non-clothing. A piece of non-clothing. I've got two today. So I can do non-clothing. You know, I am clothing and footwear oriented, but I can do non-clothing. Scythe Park Talking Beaker. Now, we've got Stan on top. And unfortunately, dear Kenny has died. Both sides. From 1998. Don't know how well it's going to pick it up. Um, it's going to talk. You might push that button and I guess Stan says something like, I know. Oh my God, they killed Kenny. Terrible impression, I know, I know. Um, that could be 20 quid, if I can get it working. If I can get it working. Um, so I will persevere, again, it was a pound, and I wasn't leaving that behind, it's pretty cool. A nice little, yeah, open action there, nice handle. Cool thing, cool trinket. Wouldn't normally pick these up, but they were dirt cheap, of course, and they're in good condition. So just a pair of Skechers flip-flops. Uh, these are called the Gogamat. It's not yoga mats, the goga mat. I guess some sort of yoga sandal flip flop thing. Um, not bad condition at all, really. Minimal wear to the soles. These are a size 9. Um, 12 to 15 quid, probably, on those. Here's something that you need to look out for. These are a pair of jeans by a company called Freddy's of Pinewood. Now, in the shop, I had to do some research. Signal was limited, so I had a bit of a uh, bit of a struggle, but again, they were two quid, they're made in England, um, so I took them. So these are a pair of jeans. But if I spin them round to the front, you'll notice that they're not the sort of standard sort of um you know design. So I believe these are rockabilly jeans. So um, you know, people who dress up in sort of 50s and 60s, sort of rockabilly. Um, attire. This is the sort of thing they'll wear. Um, and believe it or not, these could be 35 to 40 pounds. They seem to be really desirable, which is mad. Because, um, I mean, on face value, there's not a huge amount going, to, going for them. But they are a size 32 reg? Yeah, 32 reg. There you go, made in England. But yeah, could be 35 to 40. Amazing. So yeah, keep an eye out for that. Freddy's of Pinewood. Not something I've come across before, but I will be looking out for them going forward. Absolutely. So that is that. Two more things. This, I mean, this thing I'll pay for the, the whole of it is. It's a nice, size large, leather, sort of blazer style jacket. Um, it hasn't really got a brand, it just says real leather. Real leather, made in England. This is one with the tag that's made me laugh. Yes, look. Ooh, is that gonna work? Genuine real leather. So I'm pretty sure it's actually leather. Um, not much like leather jacket. Vintage, lovely condition. All the buttons are present. No stains, no rips. 25 quid on that one, I reckon, conservatively. And finally, and to fair, Given that everything you've seen and are going to see, this is probably my favourite find of the day. I'll just show you. This is the first thing I found in the charity shop. It's a pair of vintage Adidas football boots. Now, I can't actually find out, I can't work out what these are. They're from 1994. I kid you not, 1994, almost as old as me. They're in, they're in not bad, they are not bad condition at all. Need some polishing to the rear, that's fine. But the laces are fine, the insoles are good, lovely trefoil logo on the rear, stripes are good, so there's Adidas on the tongue, and they're a size 12. Nice big size. So, goodness me, for what, three quid, let's say, I have no idea what they're going to go for. I mean, I don't think they're that desirable. If they were Predators, we'd be talking crazy money. But they're not Predators. But... I mean, where, where are you going to find another pair? So, I don't know, soles aren't cracked, minimal wear to the studs. 
I'll probably put them at 50 and just see, see where we go. So again, as before, all of this stuff in the next bag comes to 15 quid. Reasonable. So, um, starting off with this, this needs a bit of a bit of a wash, but I wasn't going to leave it for what was basically sort of two or three quid. Got some vintage Rohan. This is the Rohan, and it does say this is the Rohan Global Travel Jacket. Basically, just sort of a almost like blazer style over jacket type thing. Kind of like old man wear, but people seem to like to wear that these days, don't they? So it's got some merit to it. Again, three quid, all the buttons are there. Just needs a little bit of stain removal. Um, that should be about 20 quid, to be honest, once I've hopefully got all the stains out. But there aren't too many, it's just like surface stuff. But yeah, hopefully about 20 quid, so not a bad start. Um, these I might keep, but I might not, because they're not really my colour. I could leave them behind for like two quid. A pair of fat face chinos. These are a size 34 long, long live, long chinos. And they're sort of salmon pink colour. Again, two quid, no rips, no stains. All the buttons are there. Uh, 15 to 17 on those. Not amazing money, but um, two quid. Can't complain. Ooh, something for me is this, where is it? Nice long sleeve, Ron Hill running top. Half zip. Now that the, uh, the conditions are colder, long sleeves are, are the way forward. So yeah, nice condition. Size is, I don't know, it's worn away. Probably XL, large, extra large. That one's staying with me. And a couple of pairs of footwear. So, pair of, again, these need a, these need a little sort of resuscitation. They are a pair of Timberland leather shoes. So suede uppers, yeah, need, need a bit of resuscitation. That's not a problem, I can do that. Laces are fine. Bit of wear to the soles, but not too bad. Two quid into, I don't know, 17 to 20, if I can get them looking good. Uh, these were a bit of a risk, but I'm glad I took it. Again, need a bit of a clean. These are a pair of Anatom, Anatom walking shoes. Now, they're not Vibram, they're not Gore-Tex. But just something about them for, I, I want to see what they do. Anatom seems to be a good brand for walking shoes and walking boots. Typically do have Vibram soles, typically do have Gore-Tex. The Anatom boots seem to do really well. These are a pair of walking shoes, of course. They're a UK size 8. They're in good condition, they're just a bit dirty, so I'll give them a good clean. There is some, again, wear to the sole, but nothing worth worrying about. Say for three quid, maybe 20, 25 on those? If I'm getting looking good. And finally, was the first thing I picked up. I think you would have seen it in the footage. A pair of Supergars. Now, yes, I know, there is some wear to there. I'm gonna try and tidy that up the best I can, but the rest of them is absolutely fine. I was initially put off by that, but the fact the rest of them is just, it can be rectified, basically a bit of a clean, and they'll be golden. And yeah, these like chunkier base, these sort of like platform shoes, do seem to do it better than the flats. So hopefully that side, a good 20 pounds on those, hopefully. So worth the risk. Missed one from that shop. Now, it's a nice colorful patterned jacket, right? By a company called East. Now, I don't know what prompted me to do so, but I just checked the tag and I'm glad I did because I don't know how, it's down filled. It's a lightweight down, puffer jacket, insulated jacket. Size 18, apparently, it was quite small, but never mind. Again, that was like, what, two or three quid? Hopefully a good 20 quid there. So yeah, all puffer jackets and insulated jackets, always check the tag, because you'll be surprised at how many are down fills and how many aren't. <laughs> but yeah, down filled stuff just makes it a lot more sort of premium. Final shop, Ooh, so. Okay, spent £58 in this shop on numerous things. I'll rattle through it because I don't want to keep you too long. So first of all, again, something for me is just a DC Shuko beanie hat, RIP Kemblock. I was gutted when I found out when he died. Kemblock was the man behind DC shoes, so yeah, just like a little tribute. I bought a hat and uh, actually, as with these videos, I tend to find if I buy a hat, and I'll show you, I tend to uh, I tend to wear it, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Right, off of that one. 
on with that one. Okay, different fit. That's cool. So yeah, oh, that was one pound fifty. Right, here we go. I'll rattle through it because it's quite hard to get through. So pair of New Balances, pair of New Balance four tens. Toe bit needs gluing. That's not a problem. They were three pounds. Size seven. Probably mm, fifteen to seventeen on those. Maybe a bit more. Great condition, but just not a desirable model. Right, nice heavyweight, weird fish. Macaroni? No, it is a macaroni. Well, it kind of is. But it's a really heavyweight cotton macaroni in it, not the sort of like more like fleecy ones you find. Um, this is the Live Life and Love tag rather than the Wear the Weekend. That's £4, size 18. Hopefully into 25 plus postage. Think I'm going to sell this one? Mm, I might keep it, I don't know. But say so it's a new age, Ralph Lauren, size large, non iron, whatever that is, it's already creased. Button up shirt, size large, lovely condition. I don't know how well these do. £20, maybe a bit more. I know the Grand Eye Collar ones do a lot better, or well, at least they did. But yeah, hopefully that will sell more quickly than other Ralph Lauren stuff I have. Um, this is by a company called Brody, and it is a 100% cashmere, yep, that material again cashmere cardigan that was a fiver because they actually acknowledged that it was cashmere fair enough um hopefully 35 quid on that one all buttons are there nice pockets nice brown color size medium which is about what a uk 14 something like that this is a well, an ida knit can I pick it up ida knit kind of like jacket six pounds 100% lamb's wool on the outside, lovely sort of fair isle pattern of sorts, buttons are present, it is only a size small, but it's pretty big as it is. The only bit that sort of bugged me a little bit is, is that going to pick it up? That I think is a, is a repair, I think so, well I can't quite work out if it is or not, but for six quid I wasn't leaving it behind, hopefully 35 to 40 on that one, even with the bit, little, little repair, but I say it blends into the fabric into the material without a problem, so wasn't leaving that behind. But I'll get listed quick so it sells during winter. Right, two leather jackets. Yes, I'm a bit leather mad today. Um, this one, I don't know what size it is. It's, okay, it was five pounds, it's five pounds. But this one, the lining has loads of car manufacturer logos on it. No BMW though, or Skoda, which is an absolute disgrace. There's Citroen, there's Renault, Alfa Romeo, Chrysler, Jaguar, Mercedes-Benz, Opel. No manufacturer labels at all. So a bit of a no-namer. That's okay, but hopefully 25 on that one. Well, this was like a bomber jacket style, which is nice. And the other one I got needs a little bit of TLC. Needs a new zip, unfortunately. The zip, um, when you put it up, the teachers go... <laughs> So yeah, I just sort of work out why that's happening and if I can sort it, but again, for a fiver, I wasn't leaving it behind. Again, sort of more, more like a biker jacket style, this one. Again, it's five pounds. Yeah, the hook's broken. And that's just a sort of classic, classic men's clothing. Again, hopefully if I can get that repaired, yeah, 25 quid, something like that. Be on the lookout for this brand, because this brand sells really well. And that brand, is Paramo, not Paramore, the band Paramo. So, four pounds each, I got this walking shirt, not just one, two walking shirts, there we go, double breast pockets, and then I got three, again, all four pounds, there we go, three of these. So I've got this nice navy blue one, I've got this light green, like olive green colour. And I've also got this dark green one. Here he is. Now, where's that label gone? These are the Parameter S reversible, like walking, almost like a shacket, like a shirt jacket. Like I've, I've only found Paramount once before and I found it five times in one shop. <laughs> Crazy. So I was just like, Buzzing, buzzing with excitement because 
this stuff sells really, really well. So the shirts were four pounds each. They're all four pounds each. The shirts should hopefully do 25-ish, maybe a bit more. These things, these parameter reversible jobbies should hopefully do 40, 45 each, which is fantastic. I won't be keeping any of them because there's, I'd rather have the money, if that makes sense. So, but I just, I mean, I can't, sorry, I found the green one first, I think, in the fridge. I was like, whoa, Paramo, holy crap. And then, oh, another one. Oh, another one. And then the shirt, I was like, what is going on? This does not, I promise you, this does not happen often. This is just insane. An insane amount of stuff. So I spent £58 in that shop. Days total, I spent £112 on stock. So all of this, £112. If I'm lucky, I should be able to get 800 back for everything. Of course, there's like fees and there's obviously tax and there's like promoted listing fees and then there'll be offers. But... There is so much profit here, and that is that. So just, yeah, these days do not happen often. Um, the, <laughs> just, I've got so much to get through now. I won't be going sourcing again for a while. Although I say that, I'll probably go next week when I go to the post office. Oops. But um, yeah, we won't be doing any more sourcing trips for a while because, geez louise, I've got enough stocks to keep me going for a little while. So that is that i need to um get on with the uh with the room as you can see it's still really messy i'm making progress but it's still really messy so i need to get that corner sword and then i can just get more boxes in but um yeah it's gonna be a bit of a work in progress but uh we're getting there there we go anyway how much we want three percent power ah! so close so yeah thank you so much for watching do the usual stuff please like comment subscribe if you haven't because these videos will be coming thick and fast i say thick and fast once or twice a week, if I can. So anyway, thank you so much. Until next time, take care, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.